You lied about Jason dumping the dog on you when you asked for it. That is not a lie. Like we had talked about like, oh, we want a dog, whatever. We wanted a dog. Me and my ex wanted a dog. There's video evidence of me saying like, we want a dog. Like we, we and him. That's what's so crazy. I want a golden retriever. Dogs are a lot of work, man. I, I hate when people talk me out of things I want. Oh, I mean, that's fine. Like, let me rephrase that. I don't want a dog to take care of. But you can get one. I didn't want a dog. If any clips people had seen me saying I want a dog is because my boyfriend at the time was saying he wanted a dog. Mm -mm, I don't want a dog. I, I can't. My lifestyle is just too fabulous right now. I'm getting a dog then. I'm so excited about this. You're saying, I want a dog, I want a dog. What goes off in my head is, oh no, I'm gonna be walking that dog at like 1230 at night. For people asking you can't look after a dog, aren't you worried about being a mother? It's not that I couldn't look after a dog. I don't have kids, but I even had a dog for like two days and I had to like give it to my sister because I could not do it. It was what? so much work. Yeah, because I can't take care of things. I can barely take care of myself, girl. Like I can't. Wow. I mean, yeah. We had planned to go to Greece in two weeks. Why the hell would I be like, get me a dog? Nobody so we can cares. get a dog. No, what are you gonna do when you travel? Give it to you. No. Hard no. He wanted a dog. You knew about it. I did not know it was coming. He just dumped the dog at my house. We've been researching it and all this stuff like that for a year. It wasn't like he just surprised us for a video and I was like, here's a puppy, take care of it. I was like, I can't take care of a dog. I don't even know how you take care of a dog. I've never had an animal, so yes, I'm a first time. Everyone has to be first time when they have a puppy, right? Like no one's at birth owning a dog. Um, and I didn't, I'm, I'm reading like the lies now. I'm not gonna even go through it all because it's like, it's actually like so crazy. My first music video, which happened to be an Amy Winehouse music video. I did not get to talk to Amy Winehouse. She wasn't like very personable, but we did see her sit underneath the tents with her maybe then husband at the time, and she was definitely out of it. I do remember her just making out with him, just like leaning on him. But yeah, she didn't really talk to any of the talent really. But she was larger than life. It inspired me to be on there. So there's me right at the beginning shot of Tears Dry on their own. Amy herself was just not having it that day either. She was screaming at her boyfriend. They'd be all over each other one minute and then screaming at him the next. She was kicking chairs. Um, she literally was telling like, like, throwing people off chairs. She was like, you know, tiny, but she was like pulling chairs from out of people, like kicking things, throwing things. And I remember she threw a water bottle at someone. I don't know if it was extra or a crew, but I remember everyone like, what the fuck? And then I remember they got offered money and then they like left and that's all I remember. But <sighs> RIP. Filming and recording somebody like without their knowledge is such an invasion of privacy for a number of reasons. They secretly recorded us, which was like kind of devastating to me that they came into the house secretly recorded our conversations before and after the podcast and during i was like no way they would come into my house and record and secretly record like that that's crazy i was like no no no, no. there's no way they would do that and sure enough as soon as trisha gets the first chance she starts being like i was listening back to it because i recorded it i just found that like such a violation to come into our house and secretly record us i was like wow I was really blown away by that, actually. There's a lot of young people that watch me and it's from TikTok. So it's cool when like young kids recognize me, but the fact that somebody was like following us around taking photos, you feel like a freaking caged animal. Like you feel like not a human being. It's literally the worst feeling. I can't describe it. And I don't think anybody would understand it. The next thing you didn't know about me, I was a little bit of a stalker when I was little. Look at there. I didn't live in California, but I came about Michael Madsen. All right. And then look at here, me and Michael Jackson's house. Yeah, little big weirdo. And my dad go up and we camped out. A bit of so I got to come out and visit my dad during the school week and see Michael every day. It was so much fun. And then like on the weekend, we like camped outside his house hoping to see him. It was really great. And my dad rented a plane for us to take over Michael Jackson's house. And I have like video of it and everything. It was like really, really fun. I'm also a huge Michael Jackson fan and I actually prefer white Michael Jackson over black Michael Jackson. I just thought he was such a beautiful creature. I absolutely loved him. I actually went over to London when I was 13 to stalk Michael Jackson. I'm a stalker. That should be another fact. I went to Michael Jackson's house when I was 10 years old. Were you invited? No. no. What do you think? <laughs> yeah, I just showed up. I did it. I did the Anna and Cole Smith too. Gosh, oh my God. And my dad would like drive me up to Michael Jackson's house and we'd just sit outside for like ever. When we'd go to Michael Jackson's house, we used to like just sit outside the gate. But one time my dad got us like a plane to like fly over Michael Jackson's house and like look at it. We went over to go see Michael Jackson in London. We got a tip where he was gonna be and that like no one knew from like just another fan outside. And, like he's gonna be here, like no one knows, like there's a decoy going somewhere else and they're all gonna follow the decoy and we know where he's gonna be. The whole reason we went on the trip was for me to go see Michael Jackson and hopefully, you know, have a picture with him. I've seen Britney Spears. I would never go up and ask for a photo. I wouldn't. It would have to be under the right circumstance. It's like, it is an invasion of privacy, point blank, period. 
the whole Johnny Depp trial and all the stuff like that. It, it's just hard. Like I have been the one to lose my my cool. I can own up to it. Is basically what I'm saying. You know what I mean? I can own up to it. Babe, you're not punched. I did not punch him. You said that's why you broke up with me because I punched you. You got hit. I'm sorry I hit you like this. I went like this. Okay. That's the difference between me and you. You're a baby. And he's frail. He had bruises, so of course he's like, oh my god, like, look. I did not punch you. I did not deck you. I was hitting you. But I never punched him. I wasn't like, hey, you piece of shit. Like, I wasn't like that. It wasn't abuse. Oh my god. It wasn't like I punched him. I would never, like, turn it around on someone else. And now everyone thinks I'm a Per, like a man beater and shit like that because of Hold you. On. Ethan brought it up on the podcast that makes me look like I'm a domestic abuse. Like I'm a, I'm a person that hits my partner. Well, maybe you shouldn't hit him. I do think Amber Heard should always have this over her head. Just like something that I get all the time now. No matter what I do, I am the physical abuser. So it's always on me, and that is that's the hardest thing. That is the hardest thing. I I I hit him last summer. Like I hit him, and that gets thrown in my face all the time. But I'm not. I'm not. A, a domestic abuser. I'm not this repeat offender. I demanded he talk to me, and when he said he wasn't gonna see me on my birthday and go to sleep, I drove over to his house, super high, crashed into his house, banged on all the doors, jumped into his pool naked, kicked and screamed through every window of the house. He got so scared after three hours, he left, and I chased him in my car to follow him and got in a car. He said I made fun of him for his, his threats when they were clearly jokes. He Why joked. is that a problem? I don't know. Everything was a problem once the show ended. He was like, oh, she's anti-semitic and she made fun of my Tourette's when we he had Tourette's yeah he has he has like Tourette's but I didn't make fun of him like it's the same way he called me does fat. he really have or is he just saying that to just be cool no like I he think thinks he it's really great to be like woke or something I think he really has Tourette's okay well um, that's a real problem yeah of course but once that show ended it's like she's anti-semitic she made sure. fun of my Tourette's so now I'm like an ableist yeah. but it's not Tourette's Tourette's is like when you I have Tourette's things. syndrome no Tourette's is when you're like fuck this just fuck, 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 fuck. isn't that Tourette's I love having a friend with Tourette's because now I can like have a soapbox or something. Oh, your TikTok should be about having Tourette's and like, you know. I don't want my whole existence to be defined <laughs> by the guy with Tourette's. That's what you gotta do. You gotta like go for a thing that people will feel sorry for you for. Dude, Why are you so looking together. at you as like this god? Because you're just as messed up as me. I mean, you got Tourette's. So you got something like wrong OCD. with your brain it's like too. OCD. So your brain is not wired all the way, right? What? Yes. Okay. It's like blind my... leading the blind. Like you're not, you yes, don't see Yes, it's clear. the blind leading the blind. Damn. But why are you so much better than me? Your bread has Tourette's. <laughs> kind of funny. <laughs> that's like your physical, that's like the bread's version of your hand. Knowing that we're like cool and friends, like it's fun to have someone with like Tourette's, just like <laughs> Moses is like my Middle Eastern. I don't, I never had a friend with Tourette's though. So I do think it's kind of cool because it's like fun we can make Tourette jokes about the bread and stuff. I mean, you're making all the jokes. <gasps> oh, our waiter told us Tourette's TikTok is a big thing right now. I forgot to tell you. you I'm not, it. I'm not what? participating in that. <laughs> it's people trying to finish a sentence and they can't do but it. But that's not, I don't have that issue. But just maybe something with your hand, just put it on TikTok. Maybe write something <laughs> and see if you can write a word down without doing that. Come on, I'm not like a fucking like paraplegic. You know, buddy, tweak my nipples. Oh my god, it sounds like you have actual Tourette's. I know I always bring this up, but it does sound like you have Tourette's when you're <sighs> screaming like that. I mean, this is fucking just some shitty ass political website. Crap. Yeah, it's garbage. Oh, Tourette's are strong it's today. It's not Tourette's, stop. <laughs> it is, because you can't control it. Oh you literally god. How can't do you control. Know? You don't know the anything. I know, because you can't stop. I'm like, okay, stop bringing your monetizing. Just keep going with that. Because it's funny. Stop. You're out of line. Smoke that weed, baby. Yeah. It's fucking 420. He has threats? Yeah. Smoke I that weed, motherfucker. I think he definitely has threats. Yeah. Trisha, stop. 420. You don't have anything about threats, baby. Are you kidding me? Baby. Yeah, it's fucking 420. He doesn't have threats. Fuck. fuck. I'm ready to see those There's pussy something bars wrong on with money. No one fucking bucket. Can you just fuck. enjoy the video? Why do you need to diagnose his mental illness? Oh, low, low. That's like, like retardation, not to be mean. Wait, you just called her retarded. You called Dixie mental retardation which is like a lot of people think that's crossing the line i have you know mental illness i have some form of retardation in me i don't think it to me it's not an offensive word i was just like oh there's something there's a there's something off so i was like oh she danced to the n word in 2020 when it was kind of it was just about like an off thing after i got out of the er i didn't know what to do i felt so crippled but people love a crippled in bed so it was fine it's kind of like fucking a dead person so now i'm like an ableist Thank you.